so it's uh, Tuesday the 8th of November, it's about 10 to 8 in the morning, something like that, and we're just going to take the Matiz down to the garage just down the road, because it's finally going to get two of its four wheel bearings changed. Now, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Right, so the car's been dropped off and now we're walking home. It's literally just round the corner so it's not far to go. But yeah, stay tuned and we'll do a little video of the collection. Hopefully. Right, um just wanna apologize for that random cut in the video there. Um yeah, so light's been a bit of a beep lately, so I just sort of took a step back and just sort of tried to recoup a little bit before I done anything else. But anyway, yeah, when we done the video where we were delivering the Matiz to the garage to get the front, what was we getting done actually? wheel bearings front wheel bearings yeah i think that anyway um that was either late october or early november and let me just show you <sighs> yeah so it's now 14 days until christmas day <laughs> so there has been a bit of time since like that video was done um but yeah um just a quick update the car was delivered and the fella basically said that the car fought him all the way he said literally everything he was doing it was fighting him all the bolts were jammed and all other things so what was supposed to have been like four hours ended up as like three days but it's back now it's been on the road a few times it's been like little road trips to like the likes of warrington and things like that um but it's back in tomorrow morning um to get the clutch done because we've now been advised that the clutch has gone 
pretty bad. Um, so I've got to get up in the morning on my day off. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got to get up in the morning, take the materials down to the mechanic. And he said it's probably going to be there all day. If not, if it ends up fighting them there, it's going to be there till tomorrow at some point. Um, but anyway, I've got to drop it off in the morning and then I've got to come back collect the CC and take that down there as well because that needs diagnosing because I think it was about a week or two ago I was on my way home from work and it sort of jolted itself into limp mode I'm hoping that it's something silly like the um, exhaust inlet manifold gaskets blew a hole in itself which is it's now caused a low level amount of back pressure but I've got a feeling it's the same as what happened with Rosie's Golf and the EGR valve needs changing, which if that is, then more money. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I was going to do in this one. Um, yeah. It's a bit odd how you can turn that this light on here with the switch as normal. Yeah. I think it's the way we've wired it up, to be honest. We can put that back to the middle. That'll light up when I open the door, but so will the rear one. Odd. Anyway. Um, yeah, as I said, that's all I can literally do for now. It's not the greatest, but it's a little bit of a video for you. It's a little bit of an update. Again, I appreciate you sticking with me. We are slowly growing, I've noticed. I have, I'm getting notifications off me YouTube studio saying you have a new follower, you have a new follower. So, yeah, I much appreciate you doing that. Um, yeah, stick with us, spread the word. As I said, without you lot, I'm not going to grow the channel without you. So stick with us, spread the word, like, comment, subscribe, share the videos, I don't know. Yeah, uh, one thing I do want is just to maybe suggest things to do with the channel as well, like road trips and things. Um, we have got a little bit of a surprise coming up next year. Um, gonna go to Newcastle at some point with Michael for a little bit of a lads weekend. We're gonna see if a couple of the other lads will go. Maybe see what happens. The whole movement in the breath, like. But yeah, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of a lads night out down there, or up there, should I say, over there? That's all confusion. Um, and then on the return leg, we're gonna have a little bit of a Top Gear style race, which we're both gonna video. I'm gonna drive the car home, and Michael's gonna get the train home. Um, rather than just go directly home, what we're gonna do is start the race in Newcastle. And then we're going to race to um, Liverpool City Centre. And it's basically the first person that gets to the Adelphi Hotel. So I've got to park the car up. He's got to get off the train. And then we've both got to sort of run into town. A little bit of fun. Well, apparently, if we've checked on Google, um, I think the train takes... I think it was something silly like an hour and 20 odd minutes or something like that. I don't know, but I think there was something silly between the car and the train and then on foot in between. I think it was something silly like three minutes difference. But then it does also depend on traffic and road works as well. So, but yeah, a little bit of fun. That's one to look forward to next year. But again, yeah, stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe. Um. Merry Christmas while I'm at it. See ya.